The Colorado State Coordinator for We the People oh, yeah, Congress. Absolutely. David, thanks for chiming in here. And we have this uh, statue, this beautiful painting by John McNaughton behind you. The Christian heritage of our founding fathers, the founding of our country, and that's the Constitution in the hands of Christ. With a bunch of mugshots of the founding fathers. Go ahead. It's important that we remember that the, that the nation was founded on the Declaration of Independence of the Constitution. It was founded on the principles of the Declaration of Independence. Well, you also uh, founding you fathers also got found or held that there are certain right there. self evident truths. Reading oil, that's all. We hold these truths to be self evident. All men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the government. That when a government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish that constitution in form of government and to reinstitute new guard for their future security. Now, that suggests strongly, at first, states that the people ultimately have the power to create government. And the authority. And the authority. From God. From, the, from our Creator, who is our Father. Yeah. If we're all made after the image and likeness of God, who is our Creator, then He's truly our Father. This is a, a wonderful depiction. Isn't that beautiful? This is a depiction of Christ as King. King of kings and lords of lords. The nation, um, if you study Jefferson long enough, you'll see that the founding fathers really understood the principle that Christ is King. And if we remove Christ from the equation, from the equation if, we, if we remove that foundation, then the, it, it would be uh, ridiculous to think that a people could govern themselves sufficient to be able to keep a government in check. And I think that's what we're experiencing now, is we've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten our roots. We've forgotten who our king is. All right. Long live the king. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. God bless America.